Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to Making Dreams Come True, episode 20, the series where I take you on a journey of me maxing out my account. In the last episode, I got to 2000 total level, did a bunch of Slayer, and picked myself up a Fang after a long time of not having it. But before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and if you're new here and enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my videos when I upload them in the future. Also, I do have a Discord that will be linked down in the description if you would like to join. But let's get started with today's video. I hope you enjoy. All right, everyone, welcome back. I have a goal for today, and that is to get the Divine Rune Pouch. So I will have to step into the Tombs of a Masket. So I have my inventory and everything set up. I've watched a guide, so I kind of got the basics of it, but I'm really just have to go in and learn for myself. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started with that, and hopefully it goes smooth. Now, to my knowledge, the fastest way to get to the Tombs of Amaska is through the AKP Fairy Ring. Although you will need level 62 agility, which hopefully you have by now. And after you hop over the boulders, you should just have to make a short trip to the north. Oh, I didn't even see it, but if you have Pharaoh Scepter, you can get a little bit closer. That, so that will save you a, a little bit of time, but it, the uh, difference between the two isn't too much. Now, if I remember right, you do need a pickaxe for this raid, so I'm going to bring one in. Yeah, so you can click on the obelisk, and right now, I'm just going to do no invocation, just to just to get in and get it done to see how it is, and then I'll add invocations as I go on. Alright, this is the setup I will be bringing. I'm not sure if this is optimal, but this is what I got, and I think it should be fine, especially for zero invocation, but... I have equipped on me my melee set, Bandos, the Fang, Dragon Defender, Rada's Blessing 4, my Blood Fury because that's the only fury I have, Fire Cape, Serp Helm because I do not want to buy a Nezzy Face Guard, Dragon Boots, Ferocious Gloves, Light Bearer. Um, then I got my Crystal Body and Legs with the Bofa, the Assembler, Barrels Gloves, and Anguish, and then my Aram set with a Colt Necklace, Imbued God Cape, my Trident, and the Dragon Dagger for the special attack. And then I have one Super Combat, one Ranging, one Stamina, three Super Restores, four Ceridome and Brews, and two Prayer Pots, and then my Pickaxe, and then some Blood and Ice Spells if I need them. But there's nothing I can do but go ahead and try so let's enter all right and i think i'm gonna start off with the crocodile room can they die 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 jesus fucking christ also no i probably should have been wearing my mage gear uh during that room but it's fine we gotta complete oh i didn't even see the fucking rocks oh god that could have been bad i didn't even see that he had rocks up okay well we learn and this is why we do it on zero invocation so we push the jug and then we attack the jug and then we stand behind the rock and continue attacking and i probably should have had <laughs> i probably should have had rigor on too to think about it you know and then we don't take any damage. Very nice. And something I forgot to do was download the Tombs of a Masket plugin. Now this thing supposedly helps you a lot with things, so I am not sure what settings I need, but I'm just gonna keep with the default and we're gonna head to Kefri. Oh, there's a there's a passage right there. Okay. And then you can skip. Okay, I was like wondering what the fuck is going on. Oh, that was the first poop. Oh, that's oh well that's fucked. Um that's fine. It should be fine. It's, yeah, it's fine. That guy's a magic guy. You, you you need to focus on the magic guy or big big things will happen, I guess. Like that. You'll, you'll, you'll just take 20 damage. And then you can get rid of that guy. But then he's going to do some more spawning. There's also this guy now, which I believe is... Uh, it looks like he's magic too, isn't he? I don't know. I'm just kind of playing things by ear. All right, and the next room I am going to do is the Aka room. And this is where you need your pickaxe at the beginning of it, so that is why I have my dragon pickaxe here. 
Oh, okay, so if you right-click these, you can rotate them. Okay, I thought it was just by how you were standing. Okay, that that makes us a lot uh, a lot better. But hear me out. Let's just put it in front of the whole thing so it doesn't even hit that one. I've been playing off the basis that it was hitting this one the whole time. But yeah, okay, 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 okay. How about, and then we place one right here. Okay, big brain, big brain, big brain. And then it's going to go all the way over here. Okay, okay. And we just place it right... Oh, we can't... Oh, man, okay. Thought we had it. So you can't place the mirrors on the black things. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. So I just need to place this like this, and then I can pick up this mirror, and then I can place it right here. This shouldn't have taken me this long. You can uh, you can flame me in the comments if you want, because I, I definitely deserve that. And then I can run over here and get to picking. Jesus Christ, I don't know why it took that fucking long. There we go. That is the room complete in a ridiculous amount of time because I am dumb. Ouch. I don't know why that happened. Okay, this is this is going horrible. Okay, I see what I did wrong. They were all ghosts right there. So you want to stay in the quadrant that you killed the original uh, guard in until they are not ghosts anymore. So that's where I messed up. Then I can just attack him and make sure to dodge things. Or run right into him, I mean. Doesn't really matter, he's dead. That is the room. I can see how people can uh, get killed very fast in there on higher invocations. And then the last room will be the Baba room. Oh sh shit, that hurt. Okay, this is, yeah, this is a lot. How to get rid of the shaman, fucking die. Oh my God, you just keep on hit fucking ones and twos. All right, and that was the room. Uh, not too bad, just kind of annoying. Yep, Baba is complete. That was probably the easiest fight that I've had. And now for the last room, which is the Wardens. And then we do not want to stand under those things. Remember, remember that. Do not stand under those things. Those things either. The Warden is down, so we want to switch to our melee gear and spec out this thing. It's max hit every time. So that's why the DDS is uh, pretty good here. And then on the second phase, you will switch to Bofa. Don't forget to keep your prayer and health up. Uh, he's going to throw skulls out. You just want to be like next to them, I guess. They're, they're a two tile space that you have. Uh, oh, God. Uh, what the f fuck? There, there, there it is. There's the nectar. Let's just heal up. Make sure that uh, we aren't going to fucking die. I'm having a tough time keeping up with everything. Move away from that. That's petrification. Petrification. No, run. Oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, left, middle, right, left, middle, right. Oh, these are skulls. And these are one tick, so you can just literally click on them and yeah, they, they go pretty fast. Just gonna drink an ambrosia because I am flipping shit right now. I am fucking up so hard. <laughs> Um, I'm flipping shit, man. There's way too much going on right now. Oh my god. Oh, he was so close. Okay, take number two. This attempt is going a lot better. Move and attack. Move and attack. And there we go. That is beginner raid complete in an hour and a half because I am bad. But I was also like referring back to the video every time so that is uh, another reason why it took so long but yeah uh we got our first chest which is probably white but might as well make it intense i have precisely a 0.59 percent chance to get a purple so you know okay it's a white light let's see what we get a lily of the sand some diamonds and some mahogany logs okay we'll put that right in the bank but yeah, that is that is one raid down, and I wouldn't say I'm comfortable, but I'm more comfortable than I was an hour and a half ago. So I'm definitely going to do some more, maybe put on some invocations, and we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, and I can uh, talk to somebody. I think it's this guy. 
Um, and he's gonna give me an XP lamp, I believe. Okay, after just randomly clicking on dialogue, it finally happened. And those guys disappeared. Cool. And then after you get done talking to them and they disappear, then you can talk to this lady. And she will give you an antique lamp. Which you can put into a combat skill of your choosing. Which I think I will just put mine into strength. After careful consideration, um, I'm... It's not even careful, honestly. But I am going to try to send a normal raid, so I have 155 raid level. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I am prepared to uh, die. So let's go ahead and get our shit ready. And run! Oh shit, I need to. Oh fuck, I already fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Help me, help me, help me. Help me help you. Okay, these are rocks this time. Okay. So I can just push it. Push it, push it to the limit. Oh, that was, that, that was fucked up. Well, I might end up dying here. Yep, I'm dead. I shot the, uh, I shot the rock too slow on that one. More rocks. Ow, motherfucker. Ow. Alright, uh, that was the room complete. So, very nice. A little more difficult, I would say. Just a, just a little bit. That was perfect. Yes, you love to see that. That was good poop placement. I would like to believe. Oh, so, take off magic, you attack with. Red, black, yellow, black, red, black, yellow, black. Okay. Yellow, black. Oh, it already did it. Oh, yeah, I fucked up. I wasn't looking at it. I didn't realize it. <laughs> Oh my god, that hurt. I don't have any more bruise. And I just fell down. I thought I was I thought I was closer to the edge. I I miscalculated that one. Well, um, I mean I guess I can call this a dud, because I mean I don't have any bruise left. Can't really do anything without healing. So um Yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave, I guess. And we will try again. And now for Baba. I learned okay, what I died from Baba was not f oh uh, well i actually died from baba from falling off uh the cliff but what actually made me die was not realizing the whole boulder attack i need to stand by the giant rock until that fucking boulder drops on me so i don't take massive amounts of damage because that cost me all my serodome members that i had and ended up to my demise and caused me to panic a lot so just make sure to stand by the rocks all right, I am not looking too great, honestly. Yeah, I probably should have taken the uh, restores and health because I have one prayer pot. Motherfucker. I have absolutely no prayer left. This is not looking great for my mental health. Wow, okay. Finish that room with three prayer. Oh my fucking lord. Oh, I fucking, I was a tick late to the ambrosia. Oh, that was close. That was uh, that was really well played until that last part. <laughs> Just the last few seconds really did me in right there. Okay. No! Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Oh. I can't do it. I can't finish the raid. That sucks. I have no supplies left. Yeah, there, there's just not any way.
Man, that was a that was a close run. That was really close. He had 55 HP left. All right, attempt number three. Um, I have not died in this room before, but that happened. I do not have a lot of heals left. That's it. Nope. Fuck! That is number three unsuccessful. But I am learning. I think I am learning. That warden phase is pretty hard though. And if you're wondering why I switched to melee at the end, it was because the only way I had healing at that point was with the blood fury. So I switched to melee so maybe I could heal some, but it, yeah, it just crashed and burned. All right, this is going to be my last attempt for the day. Hey, perfect hit. Nice. I did it in one cycle. Yeah, that did not go well. Well, that is attempt number four unsuccessful. We will come back again tomorrow. Okay, day number two. I have a friend tagging along. So I am just going to chill right here until he is ready. He has done some Toa in the past. Um, so definitely a little bit more experienced than me, but I don't think he has too much experience. But yeah, we're going to tackle this together and see if we can get a clear. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot, to, <laughs> I forgot to switch pairs too, don't worry. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm stacked. Fuck sake. Stacked with a two you take on the poison. Oh, I got too close. I got too close to the dial. Oh. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. We both just kicked <laughs> perfect out of there. Holy shit. Yeah, that was, uh, that was insane. Oh, you can push it? If you right click it, you can push it. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I, I... All I saw was clockwise and anti-clockwise. Nothing yet? Oh, I've been ready. Vents! Vents! Oh, be, uh, good luck. I didn't, oh, you see died. It. I didn't see the fucking boomer. Yeah, oh my oh, god, I'm me. sorry. Oh, fuck me. There we go. Don't forget to pick Perfect up your Perfect Rondus. Oh, here we go. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, get fucked, kid. Alright. Yes, sir. Oh. No! What the fuck? Ah, uh, you're not calling anything out, dude. I didn't see anything. Oh, wait, fuck. It's because it's me. What the fuck? It didn't even show up that it was me. Oh, what? Oh, I got fucking double smacked. I ran into melee. Mm -hmm. ba -dum -ta -dum -ta -ta. Oh! Vents. Yep. <laughs> Vents. Oh, I thought, you said, I thought you said thanks. What fuck am I gonna thank you for right now? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I was absolutely <laughs> clobbering that first wave. So I thought you were thanking me for that. I don't know. I'm. Oh, I got out of sync. Yeah, that was that's my bad. Oh! oh. <laughs> I do not know how I managed to dodge all of them, but that was just uh, that was amazing. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's no way you're gonna you're gonna finish this. Yeah, I just want to get my practice in. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Fuck. Oh shit, dude. Oh, well done. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hardcore Ricky was one of us died once, brother. And the suspense we've all been waiting for a white. Come on. Fucking noodle. Yeah, range. There we go. Yes. <laughs> we were noodling at first. And... Dwight. Hey, I got my last fucking piece. I got the Eye of the Corruptor. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so uh, three raids attempted and two completed, both at 180. So that is very nice. I feel much more confident now. And I am using less supplies, so that is, that is pretty nice. All right, another day of raiding. Um, I'm in a call with my buddy, but I am going to do a solo one first, a solo 180, see how it goes. And then I think we're going to partner up and do some together. Dropped the ball. Easy fucking money. Let's go. 37 minutes. Not too bad. Bottom, bottom, bum, 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 And white. Okay. You saw what I got. Hmm. Oh, you got the throw. I need to. I don't want it. Red, white, yellow, white. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> yeah, I... Scuffed equal stuffed? No. No, 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 no. No, you can't do this. Come on. I swear to god, Jagex. All right, as you can see, I just did that 200 and we DC'd in the treasure room, but we still got the loot. Ripped all the hardcores out there, but I am going to be doing a solo 200 now. So easy money, a solo 200 coming at you. 35.57 is the time. Fairly, uh, fairly good run. I still had a shit ton of supplies left. And white. All right. And we got some magic seeds, some mahogany logs, and some coconut milk. Easy money. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho ho. And it is a white light. Oh, that's disgusting. How the fuck is mine still warm? Yeah, no, okay. I told you, man. This was not great. This was not great. Two radar. Oh, 50 KC. Oh, nice. No purple. Badge. I'm gonna do a solo 200 to start out. I am down to do raid solo. I feel pretty comfortable, so let's get this going. There we go. 39.54, we barely hit the timer. I did die on Aka, so that set me back a little bit, but I was still able to get the clear. And white. All right, that is, that is not a great 65K. What the hell? All right, I'm going to push it up to a 220 and see how it is. I am putting on need some help and blood thinners. All right, a little rough there at the end. White light. All right, let's get our thread. Uh, not a thread, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, another 220 down. And white light. All right. All right, is this just the thread? Hey, we got the thread! Nice, exactly what I wanted, plus an elite clue, some magic seeds, and some snapdragon seeds. Holy crap. That was a, that was a good chest. That was a really good chest. Well, we got what we wanted out of here, and honestly, I gotta say that I am really enjoying the tombs of a mascot. 
I have not done raids since I started playing this game. The last game I was playing before I came to Old School RuneScape was Lost Ark, and the big thing there is raids, and the raids are extremely difficult, so it's really nice just jumping into some raids and actually, you know, doing some really tough content. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this thread. Use? Okay, use it on the room pouch. There we go. We got ourselves our divine room pouch. We have saved ourselves one inventory slot and the bag actually looks really cool. I am so happy to have that. And for those who weren't counting, that was my 10th completion on normals and one completion on entry. So I guess technically 11 KC to get the thread, which is right around the drop rate. So cannot complain about that. But anyways, that is going to do it for me for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you. If you are not subscribed yet, make sure to if you like the content so you can see more of my videos in the future. And just a PSA, I might not have a video out next week because I have a very, very busy work schedule. So I won't be able to be playing as much. So a lot of my playtime is probably just going to go into blood rune crafting but we'll just have to see what happens but anyways i appreciate you all and i hope you have a good day or night whatever time it is for you and i will see you on the next one peace